Okay, let's have a look at the crater Patavius. Now, obviously, this is on the moon. Now, you're looking at a plateau within a crater. We'll get to that in a minute. So, when we zoom in here, look what appears. I mean, wow, what in the world is that? Now, at first, I thought it was a pyramid, but, but now I'm more convinced this is some type of monolithic stone like we see all around the world. I put a little picture right there, just like a side-by-side -side comparison, and of course we're going to zoom in on this, and, um, and I will leave the link below to the NASA LRO Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter uh, website so you guys can, can verify this for yourself. This is an official NASA photo, okay? Uh, now, I believe it was taken from the LRO. We'll get to that in a minute, too. Back in 2014, um, you guys may or may not know, the LRO has been orbiting the, uh, the Earth, well, the Moon, for about 13, 14 years, over 30, or 35 to 40,000 orbits around the Moon, um, collecting these high-res photos. Photos. Now, if you look at other photos of this crater, you can barely see this feature right here. But the reason we can see it with, with all the detail and clarity that we have now, again, it's the LRO high-res photo. Arizona State University, you know, they've been tasked with... Um, you know, putting out these uh, galleries of these NASA photos, and maybe they let this one slip. I don't know. But again, you can see this on other photos if you know where to look, but you really need the high res photo like we're looking at right now. Now, again, look at these 90 degree perfect angles, these really sharp, precise edges that is not natural. I mean, uh, er, er, I was say Earth, nature can't do that. Okay, so. I mean, I don't, I don't know what this is. Now, it's not a pyramid. The only thing that kind of threw me off was the little crater uh, located at the bottom of this wall right there that you can't see. You'll see it in a minute. So I thought, is it some type of weird shadowing? Like, is it some type of, you know, camera defect? Like, what is going on? But then if you look closely right there, that crater is actually at the bottom of the face of this rectangle. I believe it is a, a rectangle. Again, a monolithic rectangular stone, or I don't know what it what it's made of, but I, I think it is a rectangle. Now, right next to this is another small crater, and I found these little tracks leading over to this uh, anomaly. Okay, we're going to call it an anomaly because I don't claim to know what it is. Okay, uh, and I thought it was at least interesting enough to put into the video. You see these little marks right there, kind of like we've seen on Mars and the moon in particular. Um, these tracks that lead over to uh, the anomaly. Now, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison here. Uh, there's a monolithic stone to the left, obviously, and what we have discovered on the right on the moon. It, it looks almost identical. Cool. Okay, and again, I don't believe this is made by nature. Now, this is what most of the photos look like, okay? When you look at this, uh, I believe it's Patavius, Patavius, uh, Patavius Crater. Uh, you see the circle, okay? And then there's like a little plateau in the middle right there, and that's where we have the high-res photos. You zoom into that, and that's where you find this rectangular stone. That's why, look, that's why NASA, that's why they don't put out, uh, you know, a ton of these high-res photos. Now, Arizona State University, they've been tasked um, with organizing and filing, okay, and documenting these high-res photos. So I think this one slipped past their goalies, basically, Okay, it slipped past the gatekeepers at Arizona State University. I mean, it's just incredible. Now, um, right here, I'm going to put, I, I wrote, here is a full view of the crater zoomed all the way out. So we're going to start at, at as high as we can go. Okay, right there, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Okay, just for verification. There's the photo ID number, the dates. We'll get to that. And I backed all the way out. So again, you're looking at a plateau within a crater. Okay, now we're going to zoom in. And you'll see the anomalies start to appear. And it's just amazing. Again, at first I thought, like, is that a pyramid? But, you know, it didn't have four sides. Or eight, you know, arguably. It depends on, you know, what type of pyramid we're talking about. But the, it has basically three sides. So it, it looks like it's going into the lunar surface at an angle. 
you know, like if you took a brick and kind of halfway buried it, you know, sticking out of, out of the ground, that's what it looks like to me. So again, I just wanted to kind of show you guys, you know, top to bottom. Okay, here's a little more info for you uh, about how they named the crater. Okay, that's not very interesting. I get it. Uh, here's other details right here. You see there's the date that the image was taking, 20, uh, taken 2014. Okay, and then image stop time 2014. There's the lat, uh, the lat, latitude longitude right there uh just all the info i can give you and again keep in mind this is a real nasa lro photo okay now let's take a look at what we typically see from nasa this is the the image quality that we typically get from from them okay i mean look at this guys this is the same exact crater okay again there's that little plateau right here here's kind of a zoomed out photo and we'll zoom in and that little blob in the middle in the middle that is where the anomaly is located okay again remember i said it was a plateau within the crater and it's just amazing to me that uh you know nasa would put something like that out i mean you can go back to the apollo program and they have crystal clear photos now right here high res photo from the lunar reconnaissance orbiter and look at the difference okay i mean this is why it's so important to dig through these archives and by the way i did not discover this i don't i hope i hope i mentioned that i don't know i'm so excited i forget to to mention things but uh now look at this right here this is a random crater that i found on the moon and i just wanted to kind of zoom in and and give you guys another example of the clarity of the high resolution and also by the time i upload this to youtube youtube will downgrade it to probably 720. Um, at the time of my editing it's in 4k okay so that's another thing you know i might start paying for the um the high quality uploading from YouTube because I think it would make a big difference in my videos. Now right here, this was a filter used by NASA. Okay, a little bit of color. Okay, that, that mess that looks like, I don't know, spaghetti in the middle. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the crater um, where the anomaly is located. I just wanted to show you guys this just to, for, as an example, again, of how important it is to go through these galleries um, put out by the Arizona State University. Of course, the LRO right there. Okay, boom, goes up, launches the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, and this says 13, but I believe it's 14 years later, um, 40,000 orbits around the moon, high res, and this is what we have. I mean, it's truly amazing. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this play through again, okay, just to give you guys more details and a better look, and I want to explain how I came across this particular photo. Okay, I'm a member of a group on Facebook, and it's basically moon anomalies, Mars anomalies, and so forth, and I came across this. It was discovered by someone else, not me, but... The person that discovered this didn't want to leave a link or let any or let anyone know how to find this photo for themselves. So I personally went through. You see that up there, ASU, EDU. That's Arizona Education. I personally went through the uh, the the gallery and found the freaking photo. Okay, so and I'll leave a link below directly to the LROC Arizona Gallery. Okay, now right here, I just cropped off the top and the bottom just to get rid of all the mess so you can get a better look. And of course, we'll zoom in again because that's what we do. I mean, look at this amazing detail, this amazing clarity. Now imagine, okay, we have the Artemis program coming up very soon. You guys know I spend a lot of time at NASA and apparently one of the biggest um, things that NASA is going to be doing during the Artemis program is filming, documenting, um, video, 4K, high res. You know, we do, <laughs> look, this is 2023. You know, NASA can't put out this garbage anymore. We want high res, high quality, and that's what the Artemis program will bring us. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, just another example here of a monolithic stone, and that's what it looks like to me. I mean, you guys tell me in the comments, I mean, what do you think? Okay, I've heard other people say, no, it's a pyramid, or no, it's this, or no, it's that. And I respect your opinion, but I think it's a monolithic stone. Now, again, image start time 2014 image stop time 2014 it gives you the time right there the latitude longitude and so forth there's the file photo id number at the top 
and there you have it so I'm probably going to let this just play out. Um, you know, I like to just give you every single thing I have. And uh, again, I have found other photos of this crater, but you cannot see the anomaly. Why? Because it's not high res. Okay, now I know the first thing I thought of, well, I need another photo. I need, I need to see another picture of this to verify, to confirm that it is what it is. Okay, um, that it hasn't been manipulated or it's not some type of, you know, photographic anomaly or whatever this but i will say in all fairness this is the only one i can find and it was a miracle that i found this you know because again the guy that originally found this wanted to hide it from everybody you know and pe look people do that because they want to make money it's annoying so i'll leave a link below to the uh, LRO website, maybe in the comment section or at least in the description box so you guys can go take a look for yourself. I mean, truly incredible. And you know, l let me kind of end on this note here. I mean, here at Nocturnal News, how many of these have we found? How many of these moon anomalies have we brought you? Uh, I went live, I guess about four or five months ago and just basically showed you guys everything I've ever found from you know 2020 up to 2023 and we have found exclusive things right here you know why because we put in the work uh, we put in the time we put in the attention and, and and that's what it takes you know you have to bury your nose in these galleries for hours and 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 hours and, hours. and you might be lucky to find one single anomaly kind of like the 40 millimeter apollo uh gallery that i went through and found some amazing things so you guys please go maybe i'll link it below go check out that video these are exclusive discoveries found by me okay and that video got like 1200 views like whoop de doo you know i mean it should be on the national freaking news right so it's just crazy to me so anyway guys uh i'll leave it at that you know, um, I don't really have anything else to add other than I would love to hear your opinion, your thoughts, your criticism, your critiques. I mean, is, is there something I'm missing? Is there something I didn't mention? Is there anything you want to ask me? Because if you ask me something in the comments, I will answer you because answer you because this is about transparency. Okay, I don't hide behind a computer screen. So thank you. See you on the next one.